It is a beautiful sunny day and I'm showing you my washing. Now, I am actually here to show you my workstation that I've made very comfortable for myself and my partner. Um, although, albeit selfishly, I've taken up most of the space because, well, I need it. My two screen setup, currently on some obscure rock album that I found on YouTube, um, alongside a bunch of spreadsheets. So we're five weeks into lockdown and as a household we have our systems in place for working from home and I do that in my room at my desk which I've moved to make the most of the natural daylight um, right by window. When it gets to the afternoon I go downstairs in the lounge usually so I'm basically chasing the natural daylight. So we are into week god knows what of quarantine. Uh, literally a never-ending cycle. My boyfriend's still working his usual routine. He actually works from home usually, so not a lot has changed for him. So I'm just trying to keep out of his way and not annoy him. Do a march. No. Please. I'm working. So I got a kitten a couple of days ago and it literally is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> it's just like a ball of fluff, oh my goodness. She's like the best present ever. It's day 37 of confinement here in Spain. People are going to start, you know, getting a chance to go out. The ones for now that we've been told will be able to go out in some way or another are children under 12 which is a start, but obviously for my life, it doesn't make much of a difference. So another positive week for us. Um, I feel like we're very much getting into um, a nice routine with me and Laura being singers. Musical theatre on, on an amateur level has, has been very much a big part of our upbringing. One particular challenge that, um, well, Laura uh, has, has got involved with uh, is the musical theatre isolation challenge, which is... Uh, a challenge to post a video of yourself singing every day. Tell me it's not true Though it's here before me Say it's just a dream Say Laura's keeping busy in posting these videos and I'm helping her produce the music and uh, featuring in a couple of them as well. Lewis has lost the plot. <laughs> Three times a week, one of my best friends is hosting live fitness classes on Zoom. It's been really nice, actually, and having a, a live class sort of gives you a sense of purpose, like you've got to turn up on time. We're going to work thighs and glutes as our focus. And obviously, of course, there's always a bit of ab work for me as well. Working out, keeping fit. Running up and down. Doing the five for 5K. Getting ourselves going. Donating to the NHS. Even though it's not a charity, we're still donating. Sorry. I just woke up from my night shifts. Um, feeling very tired. Um, I'm going in again today. A lot of the news is saying how we're still not enough with the PPE equipment and everything like that. If someone's coming for corona and they've had a swab, but they're suspected and it's not confirmed, you know what all we have to wear is? Just a surgical mask. A lot of people on my ward, I think three doctors have got it, um, two nurses have got it, and that's all because of the lack of PPE equipment. So yes, there is enough equipment of what they want us to wear, but not enough of what we would like to wear. To be honest, I haven't, I haven't even been watching the news at all. Um, I just find it far too depressing. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even know there was a three week extension. Um, I mean, it was kind of inevitable, I think. Me and Laura were bo both, um, technically classed as self-employed, but, um, because we hadn't been self-employed long enough, um, we didn't, uh, we didn't qualify for the, the self-employment, um, package, did a joint application for universal credit, um, about, three weeks ago now, um, nearing four weeks, 
and we still haven't heard anything from them. I'm feeling really worried about work, to be honest. Um, I'm a freelance assistant producer in TV and literally the whole industry has come to a standstill. It is a really worrying time because there's literally no you can't see the end. I personally am saving quite a bit of money from being at home, not having to go and buy lunch all the time or spending lots of money on travel. Now that I've got a setup like this, I actually might consider working from home a lot more often because it's actually really comfortable and really, really easy. I'm doing a lot more reading and a lot more running. And I think part of that is because there's no commute. So you can get, instead of getting home and then finding the energy to do something, say go for a run, you can just go for a run at 6 p.m. Hopefully, in the next few weeks we'll get some kind of anything that will give us an indication of you know how long this is going to be going on for and you know maybe something will come up but who knows but for now i'm going to keep reading and baking and fattening up my boyfriend <laughs> with all my meals the good thing ab about this um this lockdown is that it's it's given us i think boredom has given us a chance to do things that we wouldn't normally have the time to do and it's given me an opportunity to 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 do music production again which was an old hobby of mine which i which i loved and sort of put down for a long time when ali came along to a place behind the sun just a step beyond the rest 